Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we are going to be discussing a collaboration with Adidas and the Whales Bonner on the Samba Silhouette. This is in the Pony Core Black colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome in. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that right now by hitting that subscribe button down below, as well as hit the like button if you enjoy these reviews and unboxings. All right, so today we are going to be going through the most sought after collaboration, I feel like, for Adidas this year, which is been Wales Bonner, surprisingly. I don't think I ever would have thought that, but I was still sore over a L that I took on the silver Wales Bonner. There were images leaked for that color and collaboration in New York of a line wrapped around the entire building. Uh, this one was definitely a very sought after colorway. So this released in four different color combinations. Again, this is a solid black core color, which very easy to style, which means this definitely was probably at the top of everyone's list. Uh, but anyways, we will go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I styled this really beautifully done color scheme. Then we'll conclude with how well these are currently doing on the resale market. Let's jump right into it. So as far as it goes, I was very fortunate to get these. I feel like the confirmed app was a terrible situation. So shout out to anybody who was able to cop a W on the confirmed app for these. I know it was very difficult. A lot of these actually loaded in only larger sizes. And of course, a majority of us like myself are at least below a size eight. And as soon as I logged in there, I didn't see any sizes available for anything below that uh, men's size eight range. Unfortunately, that's too big for me in these. Uh, so as far as the color scheme goes, there were three different color variations that came in this pony uh, hair material. I opted to just go after two different colorways, but there was a brown hue. I just wasn't feeling it as much as the black. I think that this definitely looks like a very upscale sneaker in hand. So you've got this very high quality, smooth black leather on the toe box. And then in between, you can see that very soft pony hair that's dyed in the black tone. And then we've got some nice, just simple, uh, toned laces in this cream colorway, which matches the tongue quite nicely. Again, in this premium leather and suede texture. And then we've got this nice stitching at the top in black, which I think just brings the black leather and black pony ha hair very well together. And then on the eyelets, we've got a very luxurious looking gold tone, and it actually has a bit of a sparkle in there. And then on the lace tips, we've got Wales Bonner, and then a little bit more branding on this embroidered patch here with Wales Bonner underneath the Adidas uh, logo. So let's take a look at those details and then move along to the side paneling.
wrapping around to the side panels, we've got this smooth, nice uh, suede texture for the three stripes here in this cream tone. Wrapping around to the back, we've got that same tone and texture and then some nice threading in white. The interior does have the dual branding of Adidas and Wales Bonner and that cream and black tone. And then as we wrap around to the lateral side, we've got the same again, textures and color scheme as we have on the medial side. And the sneaker is then completed with this lovely translucent gum bottom. As far as the box goes, we've got just a nice, simple uh, brown and kind of a yellowish tone for the three stripes. And uh, we've got the dual branding on the side there with Wales Bonner and Adidas. Let's take a look at those final details, then jump into size and fit. fit goes I feel like Adidas can definitely be a little bit more on the confusing side of things I typically in the Sambas go half a size down I decided to do that on this pair and unfortunately I feel like these run extremely small so for this release specifically I would highly recommend just sticking true to size my true to size worked perfectly in another pair that I received uh, but definitely these are on the um, smaller side of things so before I jump into how I style this sneaker, I do want to mention that I have a very special collaboration coming out later this month with Apothecary uh, and Seth Fowler. And I decided, of course, to pair this pair of sneakers with my slouchy sock. This is the perfect winter sock or all year round sock, but this is definitely something I've been wearing all over my apartment because I can't take them off. They're so comfy, uh, but we've got very subtle branding. We've got Apothecary on one side, Shades logo on the other, and just a very simple slouchy top no branding, which I wanted to keep it very simple and monochromatic, uh, but again, just the perfect color scheme to pair with this black pony colorway. So definitely keep an eye out for the official release date on these, uh, but I'm really excited for you all to snag a pair. All right, so now let's talk about how I style this. Really, again, just great, great, great color scheme. I feel like this is something that's going to really work with pretty much anything and everything. It's got some neutral tones, but again, that all over black makes it very subtle and easy to complete a wardrobe with. And then we do have hits of these different textures, even the satiny sheen on the interior there really makes us for a very great sneaker to dress pieces up with. So the first look, I decided to wear this nice oversized black button down shirt with some nice cheetah printed uh, pants. I feel like cheetah print colors really work well with the color scheme that Wales Bonner went with on this collab. second look I kept those same pants but this time I switched it up I wanted to bring some texture into the mix with a fuzzy cropped jacket and a nice fuzzy bandeau top look decided to go with a black bomber jacket and some nice just simple black leather pants
jump into the resale on these. So one of the craziest things I think people are seeing is that there is such high resale on these Samba, specifically the Wales Bonner uh, collaborations that have been done. So this retailed at $200 is currently going between $240 to $300. All right, congrats to any of you that were able to cop a pair of these. Again, thanks for joining me for this unboxing and review. If this was your first time and you're not already subscribed to the channel, don't forget to do that right now, as well as give this video a thumbs up. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. We will catch you all next episode. You want to take my